South Korea is working in many areas to make its economy more eco-friendly. One technology that could make a big difference is a kind of artificial photosynthesis. Researchers have developed a device that uses sunlight to change carbon dioxide from the air into other chemical compounds with a variety of uses. Cho Sung-min has more. Researchers are conducting the first outdoor tests of their solar energy device. The gas particles forming inside the tube are created by electricity. Using this electricity, the device creates artificial photosynthesis. But as opposed to trees, which convert carbon dioxide and water into oxygen and carbohydrates, this device creates useful chemical substances. Another breakthrough is that the efficiency of the device's carbon dioxide conversion rate has never been this high. Considering that the solar energy is scaled at 100, it can convert 12.1 percent of the amount of carbon dioxide into valuable chemical components. What enables the device to show such a high conversion rate of useful energy is a catalyst made of carbon crystals. It is coated with layers of tungsten and silver, and thanks to this special coating, the catalyst's carbon monoxide production rate has spiked over 60 percent. Researchers also explained that the coating helps boost the catalyst's durability as it kept the carbon slate operational for 100 hours. But most importantly, the team feels confident that it now has a system that is mechanically compatible with the catalyst. Developing the quality and durability of the catalyst is important, but it's also vital to establish a system with the right external setting that properly links with the catalyst. Industry insiders believe that once the latest technology is successfully commercialized, it will help convert carbon dioxide from steel factories and petrochemical refineries into useful chemical substances, thus reducing greenhouse gas emissions. Cho Sung-min, Arirang News.